Hello and welcome to Prego Coding Classes. This is Amber Roy. You are watching how to make a chat app in Android Studio. And in this video, I will teach you how to code the login activity with Google and Facebook sign in. So without wasting any time, let's get started. We'll go to our Firebase main page and check if the Google sign in is enabled. For me, it is enabled. If you are not enabled it, please enable that first. Then we'll go to documentations and over here, we'll underneath the authentication, Android, then Google sign in, we'll find out what is needed to sign in our Google. Before signing in or making our sign in Google method or buttons and everything, we need to use the recent dependencies for Firebase and Google because I like working with the recent ones. And for that, we need to migrate our program to Android X. So what is Android X and why do we need to migrate to that? What are the facilities? Uh, in doing that or after doing that, I'll talk about it later in the video. For now, let's just migrate. Now I'll teach you how to migrate. Just uh, go to refactor, then hit migrate to Android X. Now always back up your project in a zip file before migrating because there might be errors happening and then you'll lose your project. But for me, as this is a small project, I won't back up. But this is recommended that you back up. So I'll just uh, uncheck this box because I don't want to back up my project into a zip file. So I'll hit migrate. And after scanning all the files, it says everything that needs to be migrated. I'll do a refactor. It is migrating. I'll just get back to you after it syncs. So after this has been synced completely, you can just uh, see the layout which is here, which says Android X constraint layout, this one. So we have successfully migrated to Android X. And over here also you can see there is Android X dot constraint layout. Now, what are the things that we need to do after we migrate? Let's go to our Android tab and uh, let's go to the build gradle or the project level build gradle and just wait for some time before it shows what we need to upgrade. So this has to be upgraded to 4.3.0. Now let's click it. Now click this bulb and change to 4.3.0. And uh, we'll sync it all together. So let's hit the module level build gravel. And uh, over here you can see there is an update to the app compat. There is an upgrade to the media. And everything has been changed to Android X. So now we can change this to 18.1.0 and this one to 18.0.0. Now one thing that used to happen before is if we changed the app compat to 27.0.0, the other dependencies has to be in the same sync like the app compat that has to be in 27.0.0 itself, not less than that, not more than that, else all the dependencies wouldn't have been performing in the same way. They would have thrown you an exception in any ways. So after changing to Android X or after migrating to Android X, you can update your dependencies independently. Like if I update app compat, my exif interface doesn't need to be upgraded to the same level or to the same version. It can be something else rather than the app compat, app compat's version level. So every dependency is now independently upgradable. It doesn't have to be in the same way. So this is the number one facility that, that Android X has. And I like it a lot because I don't need to upgrade every dependency every time. So let's get back to upgrading our Firebase dependencies and from 18.0.1 Firebase dependencies also need Android X to work. It doesn't work with app compat, the other levels that used to be before. So please upgrade to Android X or migrate to Android X as soon as possible. So let's change this ones. 
and we can change the code also and we can change the uh, yes play services auth and facebook is not changed but test implementation is changed so let's change this also and the expresso core and let's sync it finally so after syncing you can see it has thrown me a warning which says api variant get merge resources is obsolete and it has been replaced with get merge resources provider now this would be removed at the end of 2019 so this warning is just temporary it will be uh, shown in here until the end of 2019 then it will wear off automatically now this is a part of showing you what is being changed or what will be changed now if you are getting annoyed with this error just uh, go to your project level gradle and uh, make do not change this gms google services from 4.2.0 to 4.3.0 use 4.2.0 the 4.2.0 dependency doesn't has this warning okay so once your project is synced completely uh, just go to build and do a rebuild cause there might be interface error over here if you have a constrained layout just do a rebuild and uh, nothing will happen so when everything is set up well we can just get on with coding our google button so go to java folder then open our main activity dot java and over here we need some variables first one would be private google signing client google signing client then what we need is private static final int rc it needs rc sign in and this is just a random request code so i'll give it 99 as before if you have not seen my google sign in tutorial you just go to my youtube page and see that first so that are the two variables that we need now let's get back to our firebase google login page the documentations now let's just copy this one uh, in our on create we'll say underneath the components and uh, over here we need to change this default web client id now let's open our project tab go to google services json and just copy the client type 3 id just uh, copy it and we'll paste it over to the client id part that's it and now just alt enters what is what we need uh, that's it let's just get rid of the get string and uh, everything should work fine that's it now what we need to do is we need to open integrate the google sign in so what we need here is this line so we'll just uh, copy and paste it below and we have a google sign in variable so let's just use it google signing client now let's alt enter over here that's it now let's see what is the next step so next step is if google user is signed in already we won't use that now let's use the button xml so let's open our activity main.java over to the text tab and over here we'll just uh, copy and paste it drag it a bit upwards and we'll give it a width of say i think 250 or 230 should be enough 230 is enough now if you want you can make it a bit bigger but uh, 250 or 230 is rather good for me now let's get back to the page and next we need is the sign in button so let's just say go to main activity dot java and say private sign in button google sign in button and uh, we'll cast this component over here google sign in button equals find view by id r dot id dot you can obviously change the id but i'll keep it as it is sign in button now this is done so we can give an 
on click listener on that so sign in button dot set on click listener new view on click listener so when the button is clicked you can go to this method called sign in so let's just uh, create this method sign in to google and this method should be created inside this class only that's created now now see what it is asking to do so intent sign in intent and this is asking to start activity for result so let's just copy it and uh, we'll paste it over here and uh, this should be google signing client we have the variable on the top so google signing client and everything is fine so we'll need on activity result on activity result the request code over here we don't need the log rather we can keep a toast which will say e dot get message and over here we can create this method by alt enter and that's done let's delete this and uh, underneath what we need is firebase auth with google so let's find firebase auth with google this one we'll just copy and we'll just paste it over here and alt enter alt enter and we need an alt enter over here as well let's see what went wrong okay this should be acct and uh, m auth should be the firebase auth so let's change the m auth to firebase auth firebase auth and we don't need the log we can say toast signed in successfully firebase user should be this and uh, this one should also be firebase auth and underneath we need a toast which will say failed to log in with google and update ui let's just alt enter in the main activity and in update ui we'll just go to um, this portion over here get profile information and we'll just uh, copy this part and paste it underneath the update ui so get activity we don't need this rather we need get application context and uri should be alt entered that's it so everything looks fine now what we need to do is just play around with this thing so first we'll write string array um, name equals person name dot split and over here we'll write s plus this will just uh, split it with spaces now the string first name would be name zero and the string last name would be name one so we are splitting the names now the first one in the array should be the first name the last one in the array should be the last name now if the person has a middle name the last name will contain the middle name and the last name so i don't care about the middle name i'll just fetch it in two halves so over here we'll change the intent and uh, shift everything so intent uh, change intent equals new intent 
main activity dot this to register user activity dot class and we will put some extras over here so change intent dot put extra first name comma the first name and then again an extra put extra with the last name comma last name underneath we'll say change act intent uh, dot put extra photo URI that would be the person photo dot to string now we need to convert it to string in case uh, we need to uh, put it on the string extra so this is in format of URI now we have changed it to to string and now we just need to start activity and we'll just uh, name the intent that we need to start so that's it now we'll finish this activity and uh, that's it what we need to do so google sign in i guess is uh, properly cleared over here and we need to again work on with our registration activity so that we can fetch all the names and everything and we can get on with this so one more thing we need to put it inside this intent is change intent dot put extra type login and we'll say google so that's it so type login would contain this variable saying google now let's go to let's just change this tab to android first and uh, let's open our registration activity dot java and over here over to on create uh, we'll just we'll say bundle bundle equals get intent dot get extras and we'll just uh, initialize three variables over here string variables private string first name last name or let's just say private string um, user first name user last name and user profile uri so over here what we need to do is user first name equals to bundle dot get string and uh, the key should be first name let's just check over here everything is all right or not yes first name and uh, user last name equals bundle dot get string the key should be last name and over here user photo uri profile uri equals bundle dot get string and let's just check out what we gave here it was photo uri so photo uri and at last um, let's just give one more variable that is type of login so type of login would be bundle dot get string and this should be type login let's just check over here type login yes type login now what we'll do is we'll give an if statement over here if type of login dot equals let's say google is it google yes google then what we need to do is 
will go to um, Google user info preference and we'll create this method over here in the registration user activity itself so create method now in this method what we need to do is so over here we'll say dot set text would be user first name now underneath we'll say register first name dot set focusable false so that the user cannot edit the first name i want the user to uh, give the first name as a google name so we'll give the last name dot set text as user last name and we'll do the same over here last name dot set focusable false and underneath what we need is the user email and password so let the email and password be as it is we don't want to show that so let's just do one thing let's just uh, set the email id to set focusable false email id dot set enabled false now password field should be dot set focusable false and uh, password should be set enabled false all we are left with is the date of birth so the user can enter the date of birth and update that so now that we are done with the email id the name field the password field let's just hop on to the image view now first of all we'll disable the image view because we don't need the user to change the image of the image view i need the default image that has been fetched from google itself so set enabled equal to false and just scroll upwards over here we forgot to put the image in the image view so we'll use picasso library picasso dot get dot load we are loading the user profile uri dot fit dot center crop dot into and we are putting it into the image view so register user activity profile pic that will load the picture in the image view now what we need to do is we need another variable over here over here so we'll call it extra intent now why i am taking this variable is we need to check if the intent has something extra in it or not cause else this might throw an error if it tries to check if the bundle has this string and this string and everything cause the bundle might not have strings so the program might throw an error so first of all we need to check if the intent has something in it so intent intent equals get intent now we'll throw a checksum over here which will say if intent dot has extra first name choose any of these things i i choose a first name cause that has to be in it now first name then uh, we can go on with this and uh, we'll just uh, give a value to this variable so extra intent equals present and we'll scroll down close the braces else if it doesn't have anything extra so we'll say extra intent equals absent so if the string has something extra we can go on with this and go to google user preferences and all if this things doesn't conclude inside the intent we can just say extra intent equal to absent so over to set on click listener over here we'll say if extra intent dot equals present 
then we can say upload or it was in caps so upload user data else you can go on to checking for authorized users through firebase auth normally and uh, that's it so we are done with this thing now let's go to upload user data so on upload user data we'll do the same thing we'll first check if extra intent dot equals present then we can go on with everything else we'll just uh, go on uploading the normal way the firebase auth way so over here we'll say just uh, copy this one the database reference and paste it over here underneath we'll say string dob equals um, date of birth uh, register activity dob dot get text dot to string and once this is done we can say upload user data java class user data equals new upload user data java class and we'll put in here the user first name the user last name the dob and the profile pick uri so underneath we'll do the same over here also we'll say my user ref dot set value we'll set the value of user data dot add on complete listener new on complete listener and just give a semicolon over here and underneath we'll say if task dot is successful then toast user data updated successfully else we'll say problem uploading user data and that's it what we do we upload the details to the database now one more checksum over here which you can give is if um, type of login dot equals google so we are double checking it then this so we'll just put it over here and uh, else we can go on with the normal login and stuff so upload user data is completed so that's it what we need to run the program to log in with google now let's uh, log in using this thing but before that what we need to do is just change this preferences a bit um, the email id we can set a hint which is register email id dot set hint and we'll say email already provided and uh, over to the password we'll say password dot set hint password already provided and the date of birth is fine so that's it now let's run the program and see how it works so as you can see here my program has fired up and if i hit the sign in button over here the intent will pop up with my ids or my google ids so this thing happened it went on directly to the register user activity because i have already tried to log in before now it was already logged in before so it tried fetching the default id that was selected so the first name as you can see is selected as prego the last name as uh, coding now the date of birth we need to select which would be this one as it is selected so email id says email already provided password says password already provided now let's hit register and it says user data uploaded successfully now what we need to do from here is just need to change the intent to the main activity 
and that's it so we have successfully implemented our google sign in into this application and all we are left off is the facebook sign in so stay tuned in and we'll do the facebook sign in in the next part if you have liked the video hit the like button then the subscribe button and then the bell icon